Hi, I'm a Dylan Attached Price, player for Denali Esports, and we just won COD Champs. So what's it like to win this championship in such a close series of matches? Uh, it was really intense, really crazy. It hasn't even hit me that we actually won. It's pretty, like, I can't even think that we actually won, so I still haven't, I don't know. I don't even know yet, but it was great. It was fun. You guys went undefeated as well. How challenging was that considering the competition this year? Uh, there's a lot of really good teams, like Optic and then TR, we put, and TK, AR. We put a lot of really good teams, and we made it through the winner's bracket. Bracket. So it was really rewarding to not drop a series in bracket play. You guys thought about what you'll do with the money? Uh, no, I don't think so yet. Just a lot of Chipotle. When it comes to esports, how did you get involved professionally? Well, um, my, back when I was like 10 or 11, my friend uh, told me about like gaming and like or Call of Duty and then game battles. And it went, like around Black Ops 2, I started like actually like competing and stuff. So uh, I just got into it just from like I don't know. I I just somehow got into it. It was random. What advice would you give to someone who wants to become a professional gamer today? Oh, uh, you have to play a lot. You have to grind. You have to find the right people to play with. Like go to local tournaments or something to meet people. That's how I did it. And uh, yeah, you try to come up with them. What's the difference between being a good gamer and being a professional gamer? A good gamer, you probably just like play pubs, get like a pretty good KD and all that stuff. But a professional, it's like a 4v4 all the time and you just have to outsmart each other and out strategize the other team. Do you have any background playing traditional sports and if so, does that help you in a team-based sport like this? Oh, uh, well, I used to play uh, soccer when I was younger, then I quit that for baseball. And I stopped playing baseball a few years ago. And uh, I don't know if it really helps, but uh, I just know to always keep a positive attitude and um, never like bring someone down if they make a bad player so yeah are there similarities between real sports and esports from what you've seen um in a way how teams could like keep their composure or lose it and just like lose so uh, yeah in a way there is what are your thoughts about how the call of duty championship has evolved over the last five years um i watched I watched in uh, Black Ops 2, and it or the COD XP was actually like the first like million dollar tournament. That was pretty cool, and it was just so it wasn't that big, so it was kind of small. But like every year, it just keeps growing. Like the fan, like the fans that come out and watch, like it just keeps growing and growing. And this year, they allowed a lot of fans to come out. How does that impact you when you guys are in that booth? Uh, I love it, especially when you have people cheering for you. It's literally the best feeling ever, right before you're about to play a match. What's your typical day in your life as a pro gamer? Uh, well, I wake up, I'm a senior in high school, so I wake up and then go to school, get off at like 2, get home at 2.15 and just play all day. And what's, what's it like to have a fan base and have the ability to interact with them through live streaming and social media? Uh, it's awesome. It's like kind of surreal. Like, why are people like my fan for just playing a video game? But it's actually really pretty cool and I, I love all my like supporters. Do they treat you any differently at school or do you think they will after this? Uh, probably. Do you have a lot of people at school that do follow esports? Uh, they don't really follow esports in general, but they like kept up with me and just like see what how I'm doing. What's what's next now that you guys have won a championship? What's what's your next goal? Uh, to place top eight in the season two league to qualify for X Games. And what would you like to see added to the next Call of Duty from an esports perspective? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure like what to add, but um, I really like the AW. I love the jetpacks and exosuits. What, what do you feel the XOs and jetpacks have added to esports this year? Uh, in a way, it has a sense of randomness, but I love being able to like back dash and dash like it as like a movement skill gap kind of. So you can just like outmove the other player and win a gunfight because of it. So I really like that that factor. We've seen League of Legends, Dota 2, those types of games sell out stadiums. Uh, what future do you see for COD to go into a bigger venue someday? I can see COD doing it, but they're just going to need to take the right steps in that direction to start doing that, and uh, yeah.